So I believe for this video we can focus on the carburetor, which I believe goes there. Okay, yeah, so it does go underneath. So it goes that way. This is like a foam. Something different. It looks like that can definitely be reused, so that's a nice thing to see because it's always sad to see these things that they, like if they have a foam, it just deteriorates. I don't know what this is, but I think I'll try cleaning it because, you know, suction is pulling everything in, so I'll go from the inside. Some carb cleaner. There's a lot of black gunk that came out, so. I mean, I don't, I don't imagine too much would get stuck in this. Looks like it's a pretty durable thing. Yeah, there's some gunk in there. And I can keep that to soak parts in. Let's see. I've never really cleaned out a carburetor before. I don't, stuff like that probably doesn't need too much cleaning. Just wiping it down with a bit of solvent. Little gasket on there. I have material to cut more, but if it doesn't need that, well, it doesn't need that. Oh, that has some wear in it. And that is plastic. Tillotson, Toledo, Ohio. That might need to be replaced because it's totally worn out. It's interesting to see that even back then they had plastic parts. Pretty good it's silver. And inside of there is a little mesh. Looks like that's actually really clean, so it's Really nice. Oh, got some yellow gunk in there. That need to be cleaned out. Okay, so it goes all the way through. Oh, yeah. It's all cracked. I may have to replace these after all. It's all kind of cracked and warped. I don't think that's going to last too much longer. I might be doing a totally bad move here, but. Judging by the cracks in that, I'll have to replace this in order to make this into a reliable machine anyway. I'm going to carefully, ever so carefully, remove this diaphragm, whatever it's called. It's definitely stuck on there. Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't bother to remove that. It's really eating up on the bottom. It smells like gas. Maybe I'll need to remove this as well. The 
the bottom part's just disintegrating. It does not look very easily replaced, that's for sure. So it looks clean enough, better than that other part, which I'm going to try to clean. Well, at least that does work. The yellow gunk gets taken out. Okay, so this one is half, one, half, two, half, three, half, four, half, five, half, six, half, one, Half, two, half, three, half, four, half, five, half, half, one, half, two, half, three. I'm doing this mostly for the video, so I can look this back. You know what? The 5.8 might mean 1958. What do you think? I don't know. It's hard to tell. So half eight was it, and that came out. See, this is the sort of thing that I really enjoy. This intricate mechanical work. Magnetos are a bit more mysterious to me. Thankfully, these old wrenches work as good. Little, um, pinch vices. Inside of here, there's a lot of red gunk. So that was like an RT uh, RTV, maybe? RTV sealant? I know this might come off as a whiny, but it took two fucking weeks for this thing to come in. But I was able to find a rebuild kit, so I should be happy. It's just over two weeks, it's hard to remember. Like, uh, what I've been doing. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They actually saw a rebuild kit for it. 
If only they sold the Magneto for this thing. Could have had this thing done years ago. Literally. Oh. This calls for a new towel. So here's what I'll do. I'll use all the new stuff, but all this old stuff I'll put back in the bags just for safekeeping because you never know. Might something might break and I don't feel like feel like paying another forty bucks because this is forty bucks right there. But if the solenoid or the uh, if the magneto was eighty bucks brand new, I probably would have bought one because it would save a lot it would save a lot of time. Well, that doesn't have anything on this one. Interesting. Oh wow, that's weird. That must have shrunk. Might still be usable. I'll keep it. But... Okay, so that does fit there. I should clean that out. That's got some nasty crud on it. It's almost like a varnish. So maybe that would be... I'm not too familiar with gasoline. It's an odd fuel. That's why I like electric. That's why I like electric. Goes on. Very well. Then that goes on over. Very, very well. And then this piece. One, three, four, five, six. One, three, four, five, six. Not one of these. One of these. Right. So it goes. Oh, these two are stuck together. <laughs> I was about to lose my mind. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. I was like, where was that? It's not in there. I was questioning reality. First time I've ever really messed with the carburetor, so I'm going to go very slow and make sure I don't irreparably harm anything. Now, I'll have to eventually rebuild this again, because later on when I actually use it, I'll probably open it up and clean it really well once I know more about how these work. But for now, I can just do this and... I'm, I, I can't get that out. I don't have quite the right tool. And I'm not going to force it. I don't want to hurt anything. I'm starting to see how this works. Ah. Brass plug. So I guess that's what these are. Yeah, that's what those are. I need to make sure I didn't forget any pieces. And this is why I was so um, observant in the beginning of this video, because I was actually making a video for myself. Let's see. Oh. 
Go to the neighbors and painting. Okay, so I guess I guess it was right. I figured it was working in the last state it was in. So this is one, two, that's two and a half. Works good. So I put these back to whatever they were, which is five and a half turns in, and I figured that should be within the ballpark to where I can I can start running it, and then it can uh, I can adjust it a little bit. Right, so that goes there. See, it's been like a week and a half for this, these gaskets to come in, so it's hard to remember. And this is like my first carburetor restoration, so I, um, I'm not very knowledgeable. Aha, they went inside of here. And this, like this, onto, oh. I have a gasket, might as well replace it. That's good. It fits. No, it doesn't. Well, shoot. I guess I'll put the old gasket back on. It's just the air intake, so it's not too important. I really like this screwdriver with the big, big ball on it. I picked it up on a lot of like 30 screwdrivers on eBay once because I wanted some other ones, but I just didn't even think about this one until I started using it. It's like really nice. You know, it's funny, this one little Billings wrench, I just call it that because it's made by the Billings company, it's been uh, falling into use lately. For some reason, it just seems to work. Oh, might be it. Well, I can't really find any good replacement for this hose. I know I have some somewhere and I don't feel like going out because the whole coronavirus thing, all the stores are all weird and stuff. But they're really clean. I like how clean they are. But that hose can work for now. Under the fit. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I right, start becoming one of my... Uh, Actually, and this might be my favorite crescent wrench now. There we go. Holes lined up. gas tank is in horrible condition. I'm not going to put any fuel in there. So I have this little 
laboratory flask thingamabob. And that'll be good enough to fill up the carburetor. Look at that. Oh, it's going to make a mess, I know. forgot this uh nice to have a no 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 Should mostly work. You know, I think most of that did go in, so that's good. Oh. We'll give it a little bit of gas in the cylinder, maybe that'll help pull stuff through. That's probably about whatever fuel is in there. Yeah, that's still. Okay, so now, I think we can assume the carburetor is working. It just needs a fuel tank. And unfortunately, I think that's going to be a big ordeal because the tank is just absolutely nasty. So that's pretty much it for the carburetor. Now, the main issue is the tanks. We're getting really close to actually having a useful machine. Oh. Yeah, so that, I'm hoping this can also be a good, a good time for me to start polishing because I think this would look wonderful if I were to buff it out and make it really nice and shiny. Kind of like my favorite circuitry saw. All the old stuff from the 1960s, a lot of that was polished and looked beautiful. And this, instead of painting it, it would look really nice to have it really nice and shiny. And this is held on by screws, not rivets, so I won't have to worry about hurting that. I can take that off. But yeah, this just needs to be redone. So that will definitely be its own video. I'll have to make a new uh, buffing wheel and everything for that. And this makes me happy. If I understand right, what I saw from that means that this definitely is running off fuel from the carburetor. Because if it was just running off the fuel from the cylinder, it would have run only a few, a few ticks and that would be it. Whereas this actually ran for a little bit. And I can throttle it a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update and thank you very much for watching. See ya! I can't believe that's working. Oh, it actually worked! Let's just take this in while we can. Look at that. That is fucking awful. But there's much potential.